What is up everybody? It is Natty B back with another video. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Um, right now, it's a Wednesday. Um, I'm not really doing anything. And so I was like, let's do just a light everyday makeup. No, this isn't going to be like my last makeup tutorial where Brooke um, voiced over for me, you know, but it's just going to be a uh, me chit chat with you all and just kind of doing my everyday thing, you know, and it's actually going to be like a natural looking makeup. It's not going to be crazy. So don't worry. Also, before I get into the video, I wanted to show you guys the jewelry that I just got. It is from Ana Luisa. It is, um, I got these gold hoops that I am absolutely obsessed with. I got this kind of paper clip necklace, but it's not paper clips. It's just like actually little rectangles, ovals, I guess you could say. And then this pendant necklace, it has your birth month in it. And I'm just honestly really obsessed with these. I'm loving gold jewelry. And it's nice because all I wear all day is just like casual loungewear. So being able to wear these gold statement pieces, I guess you could say, it like kind of just adds a pop, you know? So I'm really loving these and I also think I'm gonna get some for my mom for Mother's Day. I told my mom she's not allowed to watch my videos right now because I will be talking about Mother's Day a little bit and I'm gonna film a video talking about gifts for Mother's Day because I am the worst at gift giving and like I've been doing research. And so I like kind of have an idea of things to get for Mother's Day this year. And I wanted to help you all too because it is such a weird time. So we got to get creative, you guys, you know. We can't buy them a trip to the spa because the spas are closed, you know. So let's just, we got to figure it out together. Continuing on with this jewelry though, I wanted to let you guys know that there is a discount code that you guys can use right now. It is MOM35 because obviously Mother's Day is coming up and you will buy one piece and then get 35% off the other and you will get a free gift box. That is just for the US and then if you are international, you can still use MOM35 and buy one, get one 15% off instead. But they honestly have great quality jewelry and it's not that expensive for like gold nice jewelry. And I wear this all the time. So just wanted to let you all know. I'll link everything in the description so you guys can check it out as well. But that is that. Now let's do my makeup. So like I said, I am going to do natural. And want to know something that sucks? I didn't bring back my eyeshadow palettes from California. So luckily I have a really old makeup from high school that I still have in my drawers in my bathroom but they obviously don't work as well as my James Charles palette or my other Morphe one, you know? It's just a struggle that we're doing here right now. Also, can we discuss these baby hands right now? Blech. I'm starting to get tan, so I'm going to use my Fenty foundation, the uh, Matte Filter Pro, Pro Filter Matte in 160, and then the other Fenty Beauty that I have that's more tan, Pro Filter in 260. So I'm just gonna do two squirts of the two and a, one and a half of the 160. And then one of the 260. That was stupid of me to start now before I opened all my stuff so I can't mix it. Hold on. Okay. Here's my eyebrow mixer. We're just going to mix all of that in. As you guys know, I like literally don't know how to use primer. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I just got a primer. I'm going to go grab it. Let's see if I can put it on while this is all on. Okay, I've literally never used this primer before. It's Tarte C or Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer, just a little base primer. Can't really see it because of this lighting, but I still have this guy on. So let's try to do it with one hand. Oh, I like really have to open it. Bleh. Okay, it comes out blue. 
Also guys, I picked my face yesterday with like an extraction tool on like ones that had heads. Like since it had heads, you know, where you can like actually pop it. Does that make sense? So that's why they're like a little scabby because I had like really big guys. Um, yeah, we are still working on our skin, folks. So now I'm just gonna... Here, let's go. It's really crazy how like foundation just like that side looks so different from that side. It makes such a big difference. Kind of bring it down. Ow! Do you ever hit your earring? Well, I don't think any of you guys had surgery. I talk about it a lot, but the back just digs into my scabs. I can no longer sleep with jewelry in. That is all blended in. So now, let us take our concealer. I use the Too Faced Born This Way. It's because my Tarte one is out and it's also in California, so. Also, I just learned a new way to conceal. We're gonna conceal the inner corner. We're gonna conceal up on the eye. We're gonna do the nose. I need to remember what else we do. I'm gonna do my smile lines. I always do them. Is it there? I saw a TikTok about it and it like really brightened this guy's face. We're gonna do a little bit on the forehead too. Okay. I really need to get a liquid bronzer as well. So now I'll just blend this area in that we did. And then we are gonna put translucent powder on just those areas so they don't crease at all. I've never done this before also, so if it like looks weird after, you can't blame me because I haven't practiced. to quickly conceal obviously as always at my Laura Mercier baking translucent powder we are just gonna lightly go over the spots that I I'm struggling I'm gonna use a different brush actually this brush we are just gonna lightly go over the spots that I concealed and then we'll do full bake in a sec too Now, let's bake, bake. Baking's done. We're gonna use this Morphe palette that is like so old. It is 9C, it's like a contour palette, you could say. Actually, that's actually legit what it is. But we're gonna go in with this color. And we're gonna contour my face. And since I don't have like a liquid contour, I kinda like to make this extra dark to really emphasize my facial features that aren't there. And then we're also gonna snatch our nose, but we'll do that in a little. I have powder all over my body. For today's look, what I have been loving recently, and I think everyone else has been loving as well, is like the cat eye model snatched look, you know, with just the um, eyeshadow as like a cat eye. So I'm taking this Too Faced chocolate bar. I haven't used this in forever. I used it the other day when I was doing my makeup. And we're just gonna do that, okay? With this guy. We are gonna go in with the lighter color first, so we're gonna do a hazelnut. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put hazelnut all over. 
my eye. Now that we have a light hazelnut eye, we're gonna take the milk chocolate, because that's the second lightest one, and we're gonna take it on this flat edge thing, and we are just going to do a cat eye. She looks a little snatched, not like crazy snatched, you know? I have hooded eyes, so it's like really hard to do all this stuff. Now we'll do the other side. And that's how it looks right now. We're gonna go in with a darker color and make the outer line not so big. We're gonna go in with semi-sweet. It's this guy. We're gonna do the same thing. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm like really focusing on it. And that's after our second color, and now we're gonna do the triple fudge. This is gonna be the smallest line. But with the triple fudge, we are gonna bring this one all the way to the corner. And just sharpen that corner as well. So I brought it all the way to the corner and then we're gonna darken it once I take off my bake. And that's that. Now let's take off our bake. And now we're going to do the inner corner even more. Okay, so we're going to take that extra dark color and just really sharpen the inside. Like that. Oh, not. Now let's bring it in. So I fully got it on my eyeball. See that? That's the price you pay for this really good look, you know. And then I'll just kind of blend the rest out all the way back. And there's this eye. Wink with this eye. <laughs> Do the other eye. Is both eyes done with the eyeshadow eyeliner. It looks kind of fire. But now let's deepen everything. So I'm just gonna take a floofy floof brush. I'm gonna go in with a darker brown and just kind of go on my crease. Not too much, but just a little bit to add a little extra oomph to this look. I'm going in with the second brow that I used, if you guys can remember, the semi-sweet. And now let's take kind of a flattish brush, we'll go with this one, and we're going to take that semi-sweet again, dab the edge, and then just bring it under. And there you have it, okay? Now, as always, I'm going to add my bronzer. I don't like how bright it looks right here. It looks like extra bright. So I just like to bronze my whole face and my neck. I just use bronze booster. Let's add a little blush. I just have this tart, quirky blush. And I just use the same brush as I do for bronze. It's like doesn't really transfer well. Like you can't even tell I have any on. Okay, now let's contour my nose. I've been watching a lot of the 
videos on this guy and I'm just trying to be more bold in my nose contour journey. Just like not good at it. I always feel like it makes my nose look worse. And then we make this line on the top to make it look buttony. And then we circularize it. Now I'm gonna wipe it off. <laughs> Not too much, but I like to wipe off blend, I guess. And then we'll add highlighter, so one sec. Something looks off, right? It's right there. Looks like I broke my nose. BRB just got sucked in the face. <laughs> Bring my first. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot. Now let's add highlighter. Should I become an ASMR channel? I feel creepy. Look at that. Mm. Hunty. We gotta get that nose. We just thought a little extra, obviously. And right there. So pretty and gorgeous and just like natural. Mascara, better than sex as always. I never use anything else. If you guys have good mascara recommendations, I'm always down to try new ones. I think it's crazy that people can't do this without like looking in a mirror. Like it just comes so naturally to me. Maybe it's because I put so much on that it's just like muscle memory, you know? When Brooke and I did that challenge, if you guys haven't seen it, where we do our makeup without looking at it, I like low-key murdered it. Also guys, big news. Hopefully the salons will be open by May 7th, but I have an appointment and I'm gonna do my hair brown. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. I need to get that Glossier boy brow. Cause I don't really ever use them, but I just wanna shape them and like gel them into place. Okay, now let's add lips. That's me wiping off every excess. I bet you guys can't guess what lip liner I'm gonna use. Frenchy, Morphe. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, done with my liner. Now we're gonna take my ever lovely Buxom in the shade, I think it's Dolly. Oh, Sugar. And it's the lip plumping one and it's just like a really pretty gloss. Anyways, that is my look. This is just like, I want to say it's simple, but it takes a lot of work because of the eyeshadow eyeliner and, but I love the way it looks at the end. So I'm like, it's fine. And it looks more natural than any other makeup does because I feel like usually I'm one to over present, over indulge, overdo. I really overdo my eyeshadow, so this makes me tone it down and just kind of keep it to my regular brown eyes and my features, you know? So I really like this. Um, I hope you guys like it too. I'll be linking all the products down below, and you guys can check them out. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, yeah, I love you. I hope your quarantine's going well. If you have any video suggestions, please leave them down below so I can take a look at them. And I love you all, and I'll see you at the next video. Before I get off, I want to let you all know how much these pieces are uh, before you guys go check them out. So these uh, gold hoops, they are the Tia hoops. They are only $49, which is a steal. Are you kidding? And all the jewelry is sustainable, which is awesome as well. This is the most expensive piece, which is also my favorite. It is $115. And then the birthstone necklace is only $75. So I wanted to let you all know before you go check them out. I have all the information in the description below and I hope you enjoy.